See, that's what happens. You get on the hill, and then you get spleefed. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Monotonous Minecraft, episode 31. Yeah, 31. I double-checked that. Uh, today, I had plans, and then um, I kind of ran out of time, so my plan... Oh, I'm almost done. Uh, for the first part, at least, I'm going to finish tearing down this uh, mountain that I had over here. And we'll talk about what the next plans are. Um, I realize that now that we have... Um, uh, we can craft blue ice and packed ice that I can make those and use them to speed up my XP farms um, by, you know, putting it under the water so that the mobs slide a little bit better and maybe it'll speed it up a little bit and uh, be more convenient for me to use so that's what we're going to do eventually get, get out of my way, wolf, dang it uh, <laughs> god so once I, I'll show you why I'm over here. Um, once I finished down taking down that mountain, and I finished taking down a little bit of mountain over there. I started working on this little patch that was here, and you can see that in the uh, in the map and looking over here, I started filling in more of this space, trying to get back to what I'd started with with the the uh, the flattening. As I mentioned before, I realized I've been working a lot of these projects, not so much on the flattening that I need to. Um, so this past week I've been spending more time uh, just working on this see that's what happens you get on the hill and then you get spleefed I'm gonna hit one of these one of these wolves and they're all gonna attack me and I'm gonna die and that's gonna be my first death and it's gonna be embarrassing uh, it's, oh, what I'm talking about move so anyway after <laughs> taking down those I decided this would be my next um, Flattening projects because it was kind of small. There was like four or five different kinds of trees on here. No, wait, not four or five, three. I think there was birch, oak, and dark oak. No, dark oak? No, 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 spruce. It doesn't matter, obviously, but whatever. And I built this cool little house. Uh, so I've been building these huts lately. And I've been trying to make it a little, you know, not so much so they're all just the, the blocks. I thought that the uh, the dark, the, the brown glass, which I had left over from other build, was was nice little bed in there and you can see stuff out it's nice I kinda wish the door had windows but I wanted it to match everything um so yeah I mean like I said we'll be building those here in those little huts here and there um, looks like it's almost time to sleep even um but in the meantime I should be able to tear down the rest of the door if I do 20-30 minutes I may not finish this entire thing but I'll uh I'll collect a bunch of dirt and Go back to um, fill that stuff out. Oh, come on. That's the problem with these uh, fast tools and such. This is even without the uh, without any kind of beacon. Which means if I got a beacon, I could do like stone this quickly. That'd be pretty sweet. That's my goal eventually. Uh, there's like... You know, I've got the double uh, blaze spawner out there, and I don't know which plan I want to use. I'll probably use the, the was it Nemon? Whatever one that, um, who built it? I don't remember now. The, the one where you build the giant blocks. There's another one where you can do this moving platform that will do the wither skeletons and the blazes together. That, um... Uh, Iskall just built on Hermitcraft recently, uh, which is pretty sweet, but I don't see myself actually building that. I'm certainly not planning on placing 50,000 buttons. So you know whatever I build is not going to be technically the most efficient, but it'll be good enough for me. I got one player. That's, that's all I need. Okay, dogs, wolves. I should just tame them all. It'll be quicker. Won't accidentally kill them. Then they kill me on purpose. Um... So anyway, what was I talking about? I have no idea. Oh, yeah, the blaze spawners, farms. At some point I'll get over those. Um, and I probably will just do the double one where you do the block so they um, path fine to you. It'll just be easier. And then I'll build the wither skeleton farm. Um, that... Who was that? Was that another Yuzuma Void? Tango Tech? I think it was Tango Tech. Um... Did the long, stretchy um, wither skeleton farm. <laughs> long and, it's not really stretchy, but you know, it's, it extends out. Long and thin. I found that to be useful. I, I used that on my Vita 
Uh, and it worked just it worked just fine. It was fairly easy to do. Oh, I need to pick some of this stuff up and put it away. How much dirt do I have? Let's uh, dump some of this stuff. That's another reason I build these cabins out here is so that I can dump the stuff off, have some more inventory space. And flowers. Don't need that. Don't need that. Um, see, but I got most. I, I'm gonna have to start start flattening. Do um, while I'm doing that, let's do this. Okay, so torches. Oh, you know, you mean to count, and instead you place. How are you supposed to take keep track of what's going on? Okay, let's finish taking down this little uh, part of this hill, and then we'll um, start spreading out and filling in more of that those gaps over there. Um, and while I'm doing this and going over there to do that, I'm gonna need to make torches soon too. Um, let's talk about my iron uh, farm over there. So I've been trying to breed up. In fact, we'll go take a look. I've been trying to breed up, you know, the second set of villagers. So I got 10 on the far side, and I'm trying to get 10 on the near side. And I'm not sure if I have enough um, doors to do it, because I've been feeding the two villagers I have in there for a while, and they haven't spawned any new ones yet. So let's go take a quick look at them. Stare at them. That makes them, makes them work quicker, right? This uh, this is still working. The uh, the guardians, it's good to see some down there. About to die. That's what I'm going for. Killing guardians. Whoops. So we got here one and two. I've been just force feeding them carrots for a while. I don't have any on me right now. But eventually, hopefully, they'll uh, they'll breed. And fill it up. If not, then you know what? I'll just go back to the village and keep stealing more of them and load them in there. Got my turtles in there nicely. So, yeah. Uh, if you're going to do anything similar to this, any kind of um, large gap filling like I've been doing, which I think we've mentioned before, I don't think, <laughs> I don't think anyone else would do this. But if you do, um, it really is. It's much like taking down the... Uh, Guardian, uh, no, not the Guardian, but the under the underwater, the ocean monuments. I'll remember these names eventually. It's like taking those out. You know, you do it very methodically. You break things up into smaller chunks. That way they're easier to do. Um, you don't just, you know, do this, like, go at one corner of the world <laughs> and work your way back and forth from corner to corner and just like a, a printer or something, just working your way down. Like you're eating corn on the cob. Other people eat a corn on cob? I don't eat corn on cob much. Whatever. Um, yeah, you, you you spill it up into smaller chunks. It's just it's easier for you. Yeah, no dirt. It's easier for you to do that way. You don't get so bogged down. Um, and you make progress. And making progress is an important part because that way you feel like you're actually getting something accomplished. And it makes you want to keep doing it. Yeah, we had a little bit of an interruption there. My uh, daughter was coming home from doing a little bit of roller skating. And my dog decided to go insane. Um, I think you heard her in the last video. I left a little piece in there for barking. Um, she gets touchy about people being outside where she can hear or see or think she can hear or see them and just goes crazy because she's very protective. Unless someone walks into the house, then she's their best friend. So I don't know what the point is. I guess as long as if they breach the door, they're fine. But if they stay outside, they better keep going. Something like that. Uh, anyway, I think we're talking about uh, larger projects and splitting them up, and that's that's a, that's a uh, that's good advice for whatever you're doing. Um, in a lot of ways, you know, that's what your teachers always teach you. If you're um, writing a paper or something, you know, you start with an outline, or you start with some general ideas. You kind of get uh, what you can down, what you can, what you know down first, and then you fill in all the gaps. Um, works for some people, doesn't work for others, but in general, if you have a large project ahead of you, do small parts, break it up into manageable pieces, and that way, uh, it'll be easier for you to accomplish, and you'll, uh, you'll keep motivated, because as you finish those small parts, you can see the results, and you want to keep moving. It is fun to see all the different greens that are available. <laughs> What's weird, you can't really see the different greens from the map. You'd think that it would show you the different... Um, like the different biomes and what the the grass looks like and all. You can see them when you're down on the ground, but on the map, it looks all the same. Even where I know there's swamps, it looks all the same. You know, in the middle, uh, 
where I've got the, the slime farm. <laughs> I know that's a swamp because that's why I built it there. Or swamp biome. And yeah, it's still a nice green. But when you go over there, it looks horrible. A little bit of a map shortcut. It works. Sometimes it amazes me how much dirt, or well, in my case, dirt, or how many blocks it takes to fill these things up. Because it looks like, oh, yeah, that's not that big. And I've got, let's see, what, nine, eight, essentially eight, because there's a four. Here, I'll get rid of this. Bing! Almost eight stacks of blocks, and it will barely make a dent whatsoever. I, I kind of wish I had statistics on uh, the PS4 version like you can have on the Java PC version where I can just see how many blocks I've torn down <laughs> or placed. Uh, by the end, of, by the time this process is done, those numbers are going to be insane. I'll have to like kind of work it out. Oh, come on. Move. God, those squid. They're always in the way. Anyway, I bet I can work it out by... Um, Let's see, I know the world size. I know that it's a heck of a lot of water. So I can probably estimate by looking back at the first episode um, how much of the land mass is actually taken up. Um, you know what, I bet I can even grab a screen grab off the first episode and grab it, throw it into a, um, a post-processing to count the, the um, pixel colors. Yes, this is all possible. Um, here, I'll give a weird shout out for this stage, for this uh, series. Uh, Coding Train is uh, a YouTube channel um, where they just do a lot of uh, JavaScript and Java coding to just do cool things. Um, <clears throat> and I watch it uh, not all the time, but fairly frequently. And that's exactly one of the things you could do uh, using, I want to say, the P5. Or is it processing? I don't know. I'll send a link down to the channel. You can check it out. So if you want to do any uh, kind of uh, uh, processing of your maps, <laughs> you can try to figure that out. <laughs> if I actually go through it, through with it, I'll, I'll share the results and maybe even the code so everyone can do their own. Um, but it's just kind of a funny idea of uh, you know using two completely disparate uh, YouTube videos and channels and merging them together to get some statistics. I guess that's probably why I watch I like watching different channels like Nimbon or um, um, oh I guess Nimbon is the one who usually does all the math. Razeworks does a bunch of it. Uh, IBX Toy Cat does a lot of designs, but not necessarily like the Sidecraft guys are doing. Um, <clears throat> where you actually get like solid numbers and they do all the testing. Um, but anyway, statistics, I think, is, well, it's not something I'm necessarily great at. I definitely had to do it in college. And it's just uh, always interesting. Do, do, almost out of the stack. So I'm, I'm down to four stacks. You can see I've barely made a dent in this whatsoever. And here we come upon a squid killing itself. What's going on, stupid? How's it going? I guess this will be your death watch. Let me sit here with you. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Hospice for squids. I don't know why they keep doing that, but it works out because my squid farm, even though I moved it, it don't work at all. I think there's too many entities around. It worked really cool uh, for Impulse and Skizzle Man on uh, the uh, sky block, so <laughs> maybe it only works when there's nothing around. I think I'm going to try one more thing. I'm going to build it up um, just off of my uh, mob farm up there. And see if it works that way. And if so, I'll uh, I'll feed it into. What's oh, a chicken? I'll feed it into the system that uh, sorts everything. Um, if not, it's not too big of a deal. They die all the time. Just, well, the fish block me. I always forget what's going on. Yeah. So like I said, even when I was building a squid farm, it was just something cool to build. Um, although I guess this at this point it's just a uh, silly f looking fountain with. Uh, no ultimate purpose. And a chest. Okay, as I use the last of my blocks, I guess it's a, it's a good time as any to sign off. What do I have in here? Yep, some sand. Some sand and some ink. So until uh, next time, this has been Fred. Uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe. You know what I like? I, like, I watch Lightest Tech. Sidebar before I get rid of. Before I, you get rid of me. 
Linus Tech Tips. I like watching him too. Even though I'll never spend that kind of money on computer stuff. But uh, he's one. Uh, some other channels I like to watch too that do it. But they say, you know, if you don't like it, go ahead and unlike. Uh, you know, dislike. Hit the down button. I want an honest reaction. But if you do like it, go ahead and like. If you don't like it, don't comment. <laughs> no one wants to read your negativity. Anyway, I'll talk to everyone later.